Online video games here. I'm continuing my walkthrough slash playthrough of Star Wars: Old Republic, and um, I have a couple um guilds that um are playing this game that I can play the game with. So I'll probably wind up making new characters on those servers in order to play with those guilds. But for now, I'm just going to concentrate on what I wanted to do, which was play a Jedi Counselor before the game was even released, and show you guys how to. Do the quest, level up, progress in the storyline, and I'll show you guys basically what the game has to offer, which is why it's got a walk to such playthrough. So this is a list of servers. I'm on a heavily populated one for um East Coast and PvE. And I think the other one of the goes that I'm probably gonna play the game with there in a PvP server playing Sis and the other guild. I'm not sure if they're in a PvE or PvP server. They're probably in a PvP server, I'm assuming. I'm not 100% sure, but that would give me something to do if I want to um, do raise or play the other side. But for now, I'm going to do this server. I have this character's level 2. It takes probably like 5 minutes to get a level 2, not even. And um, this guy is uh, it's not a man, though. He, he looks like a, a man. I mean, it, it is a man, but he's not a human, although he is... I guess you could say the face looks similar to a human. And for this um race you have to have tattoos. And I think this is like the lightest skin color you could have your character. It kind of looks like a Simpsons character because it looks like his face is yellow. I'm surprised that you can't change the skin color to a lighter skin color. So says the Jedi Counselor, an uneasy peace has come to the galaxy as the Galactic Republic and Sims Empire recover from the a costly war the Jedi Order has returned to its ancient home run of Tyson and regroup. And then says they promise an young patty when Dar Legend has been sent to Tyson to stay along the Order's wise since masters and face of challenges of the Jedi trials. At the first test, Star Legend must venture into the Tysonine Venorals and recover several ancient teaching holograms, but Tyson's natives, the vicious flesh raiders, are always hungry. I hope they're not thirsting for my blood, especially level 2's blood. Anyways, though, it was a PvP server. You can't get you can't get attacked anywhere. It was a PvE server. You're safe unless you go into like I think a specific battle zone. I just don't like the idea of I'm doing a quest. I'm about to progress, and then I'm in addition to having four mobs on me. I also have some of real players trying to kill me. And even if that other players and doesn't have a perfect skill rotation, which he should be, because an MMO is basically numbers versus numbers. There's no aiming involved. There's no skill involved. It's still, even if you get a player who's not even using, not rotating their most powerful skills, damage is damage, and if you have four mobs on you plus another player, I mean, you're probably going to die. But imagine if you get someone who's a perfect skill rotation, who's rotating their most powerful skills, you're probably going to die even faster with those four mobs on you. So, it's a very, um, it could be a very dangerous, very, it's already dangerous world, but it could be even a greater threat when you have a human player attack on you. So, when you log on, Here's some of the classic Star Wars music, I guess. This found in the Republic, you use Force Failure as a buff. It says increases the target strengths, aim, willpower, and cunning by 5%, and interval and, and sorry, internal and element. It's hard for me to read the text because it's super small. Willpower and cunning by 5%, and internal and elemental damage reduction by 10% for 60 minutes. If the target is a party member, all other party members are also affected. Alright. So this is what my guy looks like, and he's a Jedi Counselor. I guess he could heal and buff and DPS. My mouse was broken, so I got I have to turn my I can't zoom in or out. It's almost like it's an FPS having, it's um, or it's mainly like it seems like it's in first person mode because it's just so closely zoomed in. I want to zoom out, but my minus key doesn't allow me to zoom out, and uh, my mouse was broken, so I have no way of zooming out. I'm not even sure there's an option though. Oh, the camera to move back, I don't think there is. Alright, so I'm just using this skill. There's a global cooldown, and you could keep using the skill over and over and over again. Alright, we're killing a flush rigger hunter. 
I just got some XP, let's do it all, and um, let's tweak the options a bit. Alright, let's see what we got here, this is, these are my guys' stats, alright, so we actually got some items here, let's see here, stat changes, this looks like an upgrade, let's equip it, I don't like that you have right click and I prefer to left click, alright, so we found some gear, Now we look like this, I look completely different. And I kind of like how the clothes look um, basically very loose because what that um, symbolizes what loose clothes I guess symbolize on a Jedi is they could easily move around which makes sense though because they're very agile and if you were wearing heavy bounty hunter armor or master chief armor it just doesn't seem as agile as wearing loose clothes. What I mean by loose clothes is wearing clothes that weigh next to nothing. I guess you could say weighing them. Um, wearing them clothes that are um, made of cloth or light waist clothes rather than wearing heavy armor. Your inventory is full. You can either sell items to the vendor or you can pay credits to expand your inventory. Mount you by left click in the expand inventory mount you button located in the center of your inventory panel. It's already full. Alrighty. Hmm. You cannot afford to expand your storage. A 6 out of 30, okay. So I gotta find the hologram, find the missing students, and I showed you where to find the first two if you watched my previous video. We gotta find South East, South West, so I'm assuming earlier we found North East and North West. Alright, let's make a marker right here. And it looks like we're heading in the right direction. The Jedi Temple's nearby and the Flesh Raider Territory is nearby as well. Or I do not even mark something. I'm also playing at a. Let's see, are you one under a message in your mailbox? I wonder who sent me a message. But it's difficult for a new place this angle because um, my computer monitor is on the side, so you guys can see it, and it just feels um very unnatural to look at this from the side. I mean, somebody's attacking me. Looks like a line from the Wizard of Oz. Alrighty. So I'm just rotating my most powerful skill, which is currently double strip. And if, if the number is, um, as the skill description reflects the power of the skill, then this would be my most powerful skill. And I easily just wiped out four enemies, so I'm getting a ton of lag when I play, but the game really makes me feel heroic. And um, this is bearable as long as I'm not doing any PvP or anything. I probably have to turn the graphics all the way down so they're practically invisible. And I'm a Flesh Raider scout attacking me. He's already dead. 24 XP for killing him. And more enemies. I'm tapping, I'm tapping one. I keep clicking that. There's a global cooldown, so I can't do any more DPS. Somebody's backing me up. You can also get companion characters. And um, global cooldowns are be better than animations because of the damage is fronted before the animation. The global cooldown may be less time than the duration of the animation because in launch of those animations, let's say I do skill one, I can't do skill two until the a animation finish finishes executing. But if you're playing a game like Star Wars, you can't do your next skill or repeat skill one if it has a cooldown in addition to the global cooldown if it's not instant. Or if it's not an, I guess you could say, instant cooldown, then a global cooldown may be less time than an animation time that are in other MMOs, but if global cooldown times and animations, global cooldown, good, global cooldown times exist and animation times don't exist, then you may be having more um, DPS because the global cooldown time may be shorter than the animation time, or right, let's talk to him, this you may seem because this is a guy, but this is another character, now we're talking to the Southeast Hologram, and um, let's begin, so we're talking to the Southeast Hologram, and we're waiting for the um, hologram to appear. I'm not too interested in what they have to say, I just want to level up and progress. Someone I spoke to is already level 36. This hoodie looks similar to Emperor Palpatine.
He says, I saw us becoming guardians of knowledge and secrets. We Jedi will safeguard the wisdom of the galaxy. And they say, I love to be part of that. I show up by saving you. I just say, I love to be part of that. Somebody saying, anyone have a guild that I can join? And the text is hidden in the upper left hand corner. If I hit it, it's not distracting from the center image of the screen, which would currently be the hologram. Alright, recover. The South Sea hologram has been completed, so stay tuned for the next part. In the next part, I'm going to try to get to the Southwest hologram and stay tuned for the journey. Thanks for watching. Online video games, signing out, and I'll see you guys later in the next video or whichever video you guys want to watch. Just feel free to find one of the videos you guys want to see. Online video games, signing out, and I'll see you guys later.